We begin tonight with a second day of searches at the forest home regarding the Kristen Smart investigation. But first, let's bring you up to speed. The San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office served a search warrant early yesterday morning at the Arroyo Grande home of Ruben Flores, the father of Paul Flores, who authorities now name as the prime suspect in Kristen Smart's disappearance back in 1996. During yesterday's search, an old Volkswagen registered to Paul's parents were hauled away after being searched by cadaver dogs. Teams also used ground-penetrating radar to search outside of the home. And in the latest developments today, investigators say their search of the Flores family home is over. KSBY's Megan Healy is live outside of the home tonight. And Megan, today was a quiet but another busy day for investigators. That's right, Nina. I am actually standing in the backyard of Ruben Flores' home. I spoke to both Susan and Ruben. They gave me permission, so you guys are now getting an exclusive look at what the backyard looks like and what deputies were searching. So if you take a look over my right shoulder, you can see some of that lattice work. A couple of the panels were removed, so deputies can do some digging and take cadaver dogs underneath the house on this side. Now, if you pan over down to this side of the hillside, you can see that this area Area was churned up. We saw from video from neighbors that deputies had excavated a small portion of this hill. Now, if you walk over this way with me, you can see that there's another section of the house that deputies and investigators were searching. So they were primarily focused in the backyard for this search warrant. And we saw multiple deputies with cadaver dogs as well as the ground penetrating radar operators going through the back end of this house and going into and underneath the house here you can see that there's footsteps a lot of unearthed soil here where crews were digging and using cadaver dogs and ground penetrating radar this is the first time we are seeing this so you guys are getting an exclusive look here because we did get permission from Ruben and Susan Flores this afternoon so the big part of today's search was the digging and take a look at what deputies were doing with shovels in hand, investigators dug underneath Ruben Flores' Arroyo Grande home and at specific locations in the backyard. A neighbor sent me this video showing a part of the excavation site. I mean, it's really nice to see that they're finally making moves on it. You know, it's taken so long for them to dig up this backyard. You could see deputies camped out near the house going underneath the deck at two entry points with shovels. A panel of this lattice wall was removed to get underneath the house. These areas were extensively searched with cadaver dogs and ground penetrating radar Monday and Tuesday. Crews also moved this blue pop up tent to another section of the backyard where they dug for about an hour. Thick foliage around the property made it difficult to see the activity. By 2 p.m., yellow tape around the Flores' home was taken down. The Flores family returning just 30 minutes later. I just hope they find her soon. Sheriff's officials are not releasing any further details about what evidence, if any, was found here. Investigators were not searching inside the house, but rather outside. And here's another look at one of the spaces that they were really focused on the last two days. Similar scene here. You can see some imprints from a rake as the crews were looking in this area as well underneath the house. It's unclear what evidence was found, if any, here. Um, but this is an inside look at what deputies and investigators were searching. You can see that these panels are broken. Susan tells me that this entire lattice part of the house was original when the house was built in the early 90s. So I did speak to Ruben and Susan just a couple of minutes ago. They didn't want to do an interview with me, but they did tell me some things about the search warrant. They said that the search warrant specifically pointed out that 1985 Volkswagen Cabriolet that was found on the right hand side of the garage. I asked Susan who it belonged to. She said it belonged to her daughters, Irma Linda's back when she was in high school and college. Um, and I asked her why she kept it for so long. And Susan told me that it was because she liked to restore antiques and she was looking to restore that old car. So there's a lot of information here, um, both sides of the story. There, I, I spoke to Susan about, about Kristen and, and this entire case, and she tells me she does want an answer for the Smart family and justice for Kristen. She says, though, that it's not her family and not Paul that's involved. So we're going to keep following this story for you guys as more developments ensue. Again, we don't know where this case goes from here. Deputies finished up their search about 2 p.m., um, and, and it's unclear 
what was found, if anything, and, and, and where the case goes from here. And Megan, Live in Arroyo Grande, I'm Megan Healy, KSPY News. Megan, a lot to unpack there, but one more thing. Investigators spent hours in that area searching for evidence. If they do find evidence that a crime occurred, what charges could be filed? Nina, that's a great question. A lot of people are asking, and I did speak to attorneys who told me that the limit of statutations in this case for murder is not expired. If there are other charges on the table that will ultimately be up to the San Luis Obispo County District Attorney's Office. I tried reaching out to them today as well and did not get a response back. And Megan Healy following this story for us. Megan, thank you.